Hi everyone, this is our lecture on essential fatty acids. So let's get started. To get a clinical perspective, let's look at a quick flash case. Let's say a 46-year-old woman, newly diagnosed with hypertension, presents to the clinic with a bottle of fish oil supplements she picked up at her local pharmacy. She states that her best friend mentioned the supplements would be good for her, but the patient wants to hear your advice. Our learning objectives are to summarize the reason essential fatty acids are termed essential, differentiate between linoleic acid and linolenic acid, and to predict pathologies based on the lack of essential fatty acids. Now, essential fatty acids are polyunsaturated fatty acids, sometimes abbreviated as PUVAs, that cannot be synthesized in the body. For the fatty acids that can be synthesized in the body, do we know where within the cells fatty acid synthesis takes place? You're right if you said it occurs in the cytoplasm. Can you remember the rate determining enzyme of fatty acid synthesis? You're right if you're saying acetyl CoA carboxylase. Here is the summary of both fatty acid synthesis and degradation to help you recall all that happens here. One more question before we move forward. Can you remember where in the body fatty acid synthesis takes place? There are three main sites. Okay, if you're thinking the liver, lactating mammary glands, and adipose tissue, then that's great. Well, if essential fatty acids cannot be synthesized in the body, then they must be provided in the diet. Good sources of them include nuts and seeds, plant oils, and seafood, as you can see here. The first essential fatty acid we're gonna talk about is linoleic acid, an omega-6 fatty acid. Linoleic acid is metabolized to arachidonic acid, which, if you recall, serves as the precursor to leukotrienes and prostaglandins. Then we have linolenic acid, an omega-3 fatty acid, and its metabolites, which are cardioprotective and have anti-hyperlipidemic effects. So why does this matter? Remember, when we think of bronchial, vascular, and uterine tone, neutrophil chemotaxis in our inflammatory response, and platelet aggregation, to name the highest yield clinical effects, these are all from the production of leukotriene, prostaglandins, including prostacyclin and thromboxane, which are all derived from arachidonic acid. It goes without saying just how critical these processes are and why these fatty acids are indeed essential. Recall from your cardiovascular pharmacology that we have lipid-lowering agents, like our HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, or statins, our bile acid resins, azetamibe, fibrate, niacin, and our PCSK9 inhibitors. But we also have fish oil and marine omega-3 fatty acids, which are helpful in slightly increasing our HDL and decreasing triglycerides. Understandably, they often have a fishy taste. Okay, I know that was a lot of information. What were those two essential fatty acids again? Yes, they are linoleic acid and linolenic acid. So let's revisit this case. She's a 46-year-old female newly diagnosed with hypertension and has a bottle of fish oil supplements. Is this a good idea? Well, it's great that she's seeking advice. First, you should review her current medication list and medical history to make sure there's no contraindications to omega-3 fatty acid supplementation, such as an allergy or bleeding condition. Will she benefit from fish oil supplements? Fish oil supplements have not been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease, but if this is a concern, she may wanna try adding fish to her diet several times a week, which has been shown to be cardioprotective. Fish oil supplements have been shown to reduce triglycerides, so they may still be beneficial to your patient. 
This information will allow her to make an informed decision. Okay, let's recap and get to the bottom line. Essential fatty acids are polyunsaturated fatty acids that cannot be synthesized in the body and must be provided in the diet, such as in nuts and seeds, plant oils, and seafood. Linoleic acid, one of our omega-6 fatty acids, is metabolized to arachidonic acid, the precursor to leukotrienes and prostaglandins. And linolenic acid, or omega-3 fatty acid and its metabolites, have cardioprotective and antihyperlipidemic effects. That's all I have for you here. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and it'll give you the opportunity to submit a comment if you have any feedback or questions. Thanks for joining me. Study hard.